Okay, City of Forever. I'm gonna save real quick. So now that I got um, the powers from the asteroid, I can now breathe underwater indefinitely. Um, I regenerate health, and my sonar ability, my regular sonar ability, can now kill enemies. Oh, you like my voice boo for Llama? Thanks, man. I always felt like my audio quality is kind of lame. I said like I set two feet away from my mic, so I kind of get some um, feedback loop. Well, not a feedback loop, but uh, it picks up some of the background noise. So my setup is not ideal. This level is pretty straightforward. I don't know if you remember City Forever. It's a uh, one level where there's like multiple like long or these huge jumps I got to go across, like four or five gaps. Absolutely dreadful. Remember this? <laughs> Yeah, I have I have noise gate and noise suppression on OBS to try to uh, address some of the issues. Yep, game tortures you by making you go through this level again. But even still, though. Even with the noise gate, noise suppression, I also use, um, remember, I, I have some kind of plugin that enhances my audio. Um, but I still set too far away from the mic, and it's, uh, it's the Elgato, no, the Blue Yeti mic. I'm using the Blue Yeti, and, um, it says on my desk, or on my table, rather, and, uh, Approximately two feet away from my face, so it's a bit the distance from um, I'm setting from the mic is not ideal for better quality audio. Let's see, I should buy save here. In case I forget. I hate this first jump. First jump and the last jump are the worst of this part. Got it. I want to save each after each successful jump. Okay. Yeah, I heard the yeah the snowball. I've heard that's pretty good too. I see. Did I not save? Uh, if I if I save at the same time, um, like the, both these saves are 909, um, and then I reload, it'll, it'll actually just pick up the first time I saved, not the newest save. Kind of weird. Minor gripe, but. Oh, hey, what's up, Arkham? <laughs> Um, playing Echo, I'm playing through Echo the Dolphin for the second time. If you're now just joining me. Um, trying to make these, these really long jumps I have to make. Did they just, oh my god, I just jumped back. Son of a bitch. Okay, I gotta go th through this up here. Oh, come on.
Aha, I got it. So. All these all these jumps are really tough. So for this part I gotta go under the um jellyfish. And bring myself up and try to get the right angle. Make this clear this jump. Yeah. I'll take anything over those one enemies at home that home in on me. Those are the worst. Going through this level again sucks. At no time limit, just just stressful jumps. <laughs> this is my fourth time going through this level. Considering I got, this is my, now my second playthrough, and they make you go through this twice. Got it. I'm not getting stuck on them too long. But, I mean, that's good. Good sign. Trying to get the right angle. Not only do I have to get the height, but I have to get the right, just the right angle. Oh, got enough height there. I just get the wrong angle. Angle on that. Come on, come on. Uh, lame. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. I've uh, landed on my head from some pretty high jumps. Yeah, at this point, Echo would become a cripple, and I don't think I could really use my sonar ability anymore. Oh my god, this fucking jump. Come on! Nailed it. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. It's the last time I'll have to look at that. Okay, so now I'm back to this part where I gotta push these blocks down and then I need to push them to the right. This part kinda sucks. Or at least I don't have to worry about my air. But that makes it a bit easier. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I think the best way I'm going to do this is come here and then do that. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to get behind it and then uh, the current pulled me. Get this uh, sensibility. Then should be able to finish the rest of the stage pretty shortly. Drag it. Wait. Got a lot more health to work with. So that part's getting easier now.
Time travel sequence initiated. Traveler Echo. Time to deal with, uh, with the Vortex. So essentially, I went through the past um, to help out the asteroid, um, and then in return, he gave me uh, the abilities I need to defeat the uh, defeat the vortex. And now I time traveled back to the beginning of the game, where my family, dolphin family, were swept up by this vortex. And this time, I'm going to go into the vortex. Pretty crazy story. Yep. Okay, so on to the level of the tube. This is where the game, like this section right here is absurd. It's, a, it's an auto scroller. You take a lot of damage really quickly. And uh, there's a lot of memorization for this. Luckily, your health auto uh, auto regens. Damn. I don't feel like restarting the level every time I die, so use that safe system. Alright, um, I'll see you around Poofer Llama. Thanks for coming and hanging out. good there for a little while. Yeah, I absolutely hate this level. Especially the little, like, um, things that shoot out electric. They're the worst. Everything does so much damage. Like, like the, uh, health regeneration is almost, almost useless just because of how much damage everything does. How much comes you comes at you at one time? Dude. Oops, didn't want to re didn't want to start a new game. Mm. 
Uh, I should probably save more often. There's no reason I shouldn't. Unless I'm in bad health. I don't see a need to do so. I hate... I hate all just rollers and games. Has been like one of my least favorite types of stages. That's the part. Damn. I should try to hit the... I don't even know what those are. UFOs? I have no clue. go on for. This section doesn't seem as bad. The first half was far worse. Alright, on to the next uh, level. So this is the final, final level before the last fight. Welcome to the machine. Another auto scroller, except the uh, Direction where you move is really random. I don't think this level is as difficult as the tube. But it is still pretty tough. These aliens... So... Uh, you got these uh, projectiles you gotta watch out for, and then you got aliens that come off screen. And uh, they, do the, they do quite a bit of damage, so you gotta be real careful. Just like that. This level of scrolls is really weird. If you're not careful, you can easily get crushed.
kidding me. Trying to, trying to move to that next section, and that alien hit came off screen and killed me. Hey, what's up? Yep, I'm uh, getting pretty. I'm almost finished with Echo. This is my second playthrough of this game. I'm playing through it on the uh, Sega Vintage Collection using save states uh, because this game is far too difficult and I don't feel like spinning way too long on it. Welcome to the machine levels. Brutal. <laughs> the um the auto scrolling and then like the shit the constant shifting around. Um and then aliens coming off screen constantly. Makes this level a real pain. But I think this level's not as difficult as the tube. I hate the tube so much. shifts over into that side there. Um, no, I'm, I'm not going to play Tides of Time next. I told you, uh, Arkham, you can play, you can stream, and, or you can play and stream Assassin's Creed Syndicate, man. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, um, Echo of the Dolphin, or Echo of Ties of Time did not, did not make the Sega Vintage Collection series. Uh, it is on the Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, but... Uh, Vector Man 1 and 2 and Rice are, are on the Alt Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection, but they did not make the vintage collection. I'm a bitch. Far too many aliens here. Problem is now that one's off screen, and then there's gonna be a couple more spawning up here soon. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Stupid head. Wow, that was close.
Ugh. Wait. Can I like a squeeze in there? Yeah, Toe Jam and Earl is awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to that. I haven't really played a lot of the original Toe Jam and Earl. I played a lot of Toe Jam and Earl 2. Uh, Panic and Funkatron. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of the original. And then revisiting the second one, of course. Am I supposed to go up in here? Okay, yeah, I am. I just got crushed, barely. Ah, this section's so rough. Oh, I save it. Everything leading up to it is pretty enjoyable, though. I thought I'd go up. Probably should save. All right, I gotta pay attention. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna focus for a bit. Be sure I'm not reading my saves. No, it's fine. No, I'm gonna save. This is a bastard of a level. I think I'm just about to the end now. Yeah. I always knew Echo the Dolphin was a challenging game, but I didn't realize to what extent it. Yeah, I, I agree. It's still a great game. There we go. Are you serious? Alright, kill me. Oh wait, I forgot. God damn, I forgot if I die here that it sends me back to the welcome to the machine level. It's alright. I was at the end anyway, so not a big deal. That's so stupid though, they just dropped me in in that level on top of that alien. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna save. Oh, here we go. So now I'm at the f last fight. 
Good save point. Alright, so I need to take out its eyes, watch out for these aliens. Yeah, um, you no longer have regeneration once you get to the last fight. And what makes this even worse is if the uh, Vortex Queen uh, sucks you in or... Damn. If the Vortex Queen sucks you in... Or you die, you have to actually restart the whole machine. Welcome to the machine level again. I'm not gonna let that happen. If I die, I'm just gonna reload. Instant death if I get sucked in. I think this I think this first part of the boss is actually harder than the other two phases. I have to be close to this boss like this and dealing with these projectiles. With these germs coming in, um, and then hit, hitting these eyes, and then dealing damage. It's a combination of when I hit the eyes, and then it tries to pull me in. It pulling me in like that really sucks. You can dash away. Yeah, there we go. Yep. It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, hate this fight. At least the first part of the fight. Bumped into its head. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is just gonna I'm gonna continue just abusing the safe system. I feel bad for doing it, but I've been doing it the whole time. So I guess it is. Sometimes I hit these freaking eyes. Okay. I'm trying to minimize how much damage I take. Just 
for sure there's one eye down. Yep. I'm not gonna save because uh, I don't like my health out right now. I gotta hit this mouth 12 times. And I can only hit it with a uh, dash. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't think the hitting the mouth is as nearly as difficult as shooting the eyes and then trying to avoid the damage from the eyes when they burst. Although hitting the jaw 12 times is a lot. Uh, Sonar does not damage the jaw. Sonar only damages the eyes. You have to hit the jaw with only the dash. And then after that, the third phase, you have to hit the head. Which you can only damage with uh, with a dash. Ah. too soon. Took some damage. Can't really afford any more damage right now. I want to do good on the next phase. Get a little more patient. Really? It takes that long? Alright, I'm gonna have to wait a longer. Second phase down. Yeah. Now onto the bastard. Stupid drones. Onto the third phase where I gotta hit the head five times. This phase goes by pretty quick, but every time I hit, successfully hit the boss in the head, I gotta watch out for a, a drone that spawns in. Or a set of drones, my bad. I took damage, so I'm not gonna save. I can do this next phase without taking much damage and then. Or if I get a couple more hits. Should be good. Imagine doing that boss without save states. Wouldn't be so bad, but if you die on that boss, having to restart the whole Welcome to the Machine level is absolutely brutal. And then it has so many phases. The first phase is by far, I think, the hardest. You have to hit the eyes so much. Every time you successfully hit the eyes, um, you do a lot of damage at the end. Your song will echo throughout the vast ocean. Yeah, this is like the uh, ending credits. 
Thank you, Echo. We will sing of you forever. You have saved us. You are great. So... So, um, in the beginning of the game... Actually, let me go through these. Do you think the Vortex are destroyed? Alright, so, yeah, this is, um, Echo's dolphin family from the, uh, beginning of the game. Before they... So the, the whole goal of this game is to save your family from the vortex. They're like a like an alien species from a different planet, and you have to go. You have to. There's time traveling involved. It's a pretty crazy story. But I went to the planet vortex and saved my family. All right now you got the game win time. Uh, game win two times achievement for completing the game two times. But only when singing, not singing, thanks, thanks for the fish. Yep. See, even at the end of this game, it, this game pretty much hints at a sequel. Asking if the vortex are destroyed. So yeah, to pr pretty much quickly sum up the story, uh, in the beginning of the game, uh, your family it's taken away by a uh, by a storm, but it turns out to be uh, the vortex, which is an alien species from the planet Vortex. And you meet something called the asteroid. Kind of looks like a, like a DNA strand. Uh, it has like a various globes that kind of circle around. And the uh, asteroids from Atlantis. Atlantis was uh, pretty much. It went to war with the Vortex and was destroyed. And in order to save their species, they used time travel to go into the past. And you have to help the asteroids by going back in time or something uh, before dolphins existed and go on a mission for the asteroids and uh, find out more about what happened to the asteroids how they went to war with the Vortex when you go when you go through Atlantis. Um, then after helping the asteroid, you get uh, you gain a suit or you gain abilities to uh, deal with the uh, Vortex. And uh, you travel back in time to when your family is initially kidnapped and you go into the Vortex and then that's where you fight them. But, yep, yeah, so that's going to conclude my Echo the Dolphin 100% achievement playthrough for the Xbox 360 as part of the Sega Vintage Collection series.